management of diabetes. It includes a diet for all patients, oral hypoglycemics, and insulin. Today, we will uh, speak about uh, insulin, uh, sources, types, indications, side effects, like this. Uh, now, uh, we have uh, what is known as human insulin, which is highly similar to the uh, natural uh, insulin. This human insulin produced by uh, what is known as genetic engineering or recombinant DNA technology. One of the successful uh, drug preparation and uh, one of the early uh, products in drug management by genetic engineering is insulin. In addition to this human insulin, uh, before we have bovine insulin, we have uh, porcine insulin. What's the difference between uh, this uh, animal insulin and the human? Still, there is difference. Bovine insulin differs from human insulin by three, three amino acids. Porcine insulin, more similar to human. So, it differs from insulin by only one amino acid. So we can say that bovine insulin is more antigenic, more liable to hypersensitivity and reactions if it is given, because there are uh, three amino acids different in the uh, chemical structure. Uh, human insulins are less antigenic than uh, porcine and the bovine insulin. So uh, we uh, prefer human insulins than the uh, old animal insulins, whether bovine or porcine, because it is highly similar to the natural uh, human insulin and less to uh, mark degree antigenicity or hypersensitivity reaction like this. Regarding the uh, insulin preparations, we have three main types of preparation. This is based on the onset and duration of action. We have three main types of insulin preparations. This classification depends on the onset of action, whether it is rapid or delayed, and the duration, is it short duration or intermediate or it is long duration for this preparation. Uh, number one, insulin preparation is short acting. Number two, intermediate acting. Number three, long acting. Short acting insulin, almost always, it is rapid onset in its action. It is characterized by rapid onset uh, action. Uh, this short-acting insulin preparation include uh, two main types, soluble and simulant insulin. We can say soluble or regular or crystalline, the same. This is different naming for the same short-acting insulin, which is characterized by rapid onset and short duration. Intermediate acting insulin preparation include NPH or isofan and length insulin. We will show that the uh, onset uh, not so rapid like short and the duration is more than that for the short acting uh, preparation. So it's known as intermediate acting insulin preparation. Number three is the long acting. Long acting characterized by delayed onset, slow onset of action, not rapid, not immediate, not suitable to use the alone in emergency because its action starts after hours. 
But this long acting characterized by long duration of the 24 hours, as we will see after a few minutes. So long acting characterized by delayed onset and long duration of action. The preparations uh, which are long acting include ultra length, ultra length insulin and the PZI. PZI protamine zinc insulin. These are examples for the different preparations of insulin, including short acting, intermediate acting, and long acting. The indications for insulin include basically type 1. Type 1 known as what? Insulin dependent diabetes mellitus, juvenile. Type 1 only dependent on insulin, not oral hypoglycemia. Wow. Type 2 diabetes mellitus also can benefit from insulin if type 2 is not well controlled by diet and by oral hypoglycemic drugs. Again, type 2, not almost always, in need of insulin. If type 2 not well controlled by diet and oral hypoglycemics, which we speak about it last time, different types, urea and others. Uh, in this situation, we may be in need for uh, insulin. Emergency like diabetic ketoacidosis, diabetic coma, all these situations are in need for insulin. Number four, during the pregnancy. If my patient is well and good on oral hypoglycemics and the diet, if this patient get pregnant, no way. We must use only insulin. Why? We cannot use oral hypoglycemics like sulfonylurea and others. Why? Who can give me answer? It passed to the, it passed to the placenta. And we yes, very good. We pass with the placenta, may be teratogenic. So once the patient get pregnant, the rule is insulin. The rule is insulin. Also in surgery, during the surgery and the patient, we must do shift from oral to insulin. In surgery, we may have emergency at any time. We may be in need of something which is efficient, parenteral. During infection in diabetic patient, also we may shift it to the insulin. So I have about six indications for insulin. Type one, almost always. Type two diabetes in case of failure or not well controlled by oral hypoglycemics and diet. Uh, emergency like diabetic coma, ketoacidosis, uh, during the pregnancy, during the surgery, during infection, diabetic patient, we may resort to it. What about the route of administration? Almost always we give uh, insulin uh, in the form of subcutaneous, subcutaneous, but, during emergency, like coma, so we may resort to intravenous uh, root of administration during emergency, like coma, ketoacidosis. What about the complications of insulin? The first is hypoglycemia. So, regulation of the time of administration 
of insulin with diet is essential, is a must. Because if we allow the patient to receive the drug insulin properly and the patient neglects the diet, he may go into hypoglycemia sometimes, maybe it's more severe, maybe fatal. So this is the most important complication or side effect, hypoglycemia. During the repeated, because of the repeated administration of this drug subcutaneously, we may have a problem of lipohypertrophy in the skin or lipoatrophy in the skin. So we advise the patient to inject himself in different areas by a definitive manner that uh, allowing the decrease of this possible side effect. If we uh, was meticulous in choosing the area for injection, not to repeat the injection in one small area and leave other area of the thigh, in order to allow this side effect to be delayed, to be minimal, to be absent, lipo, hypertrophy, or lipoatrophy. Insulin allergy or hypersensitivity due to its antigenicity of some preparations sometimes make us stop the drug in a way due to the insulin allergy or shift to, shift to another type of insulin, like. Uh, because insulin is a drug which may be long life, many cases undergo insulin resistance, especially in obese like this. They may go, uh, have immunologic insulin resistance due to formation of anti-insulin, anti-antibodies. So I have uh, this complication again, hypoglycemia, which is the most dangerous, risky, maybe due to uh, negligence for the patient. Uh, of taking the diet in coordination with the insulin preparation, hypoglycemia, liable to okay. Lipoatrophy, the skin, insulin allergy or hypersensitivity, and finally, insulin resistance due to formation of anti insulin antibody. This table shows the uh, three main types of insulin preparation in relation to the uh, onset and duration as we speak about it, fa uh, fast acting, intermediate acting, and long acting. What are the preparation, sources, onset, B of effect, duration, like this. Fast acting uh, may be or may have uh, different preparations acid, insulin, neutral, insulin, and the simulant. So, fast acting may be in the form of CD preparation like this acid, neutral, and simulant insulin. What about the source? Maybe wine and uh, acid insulin in neutral, maybe may wine or porcine or human, like this. And in the uh, simulant, like this, maybe also wine uh, or porcine. What about the onset? In average, for fast acting, the onset may be after one half up to one hour. So is rapidly acting because after five, uh, after about 30 minutes or half hour, uh, I may have effect. The peak may be for the action after two hours, up to four, like this. And most of the preparation, which are known as fast acting insulin. The duration for fast acting, uh, uh, mainly it is short duration, not like uh, intermediate or uh, long. 
average of this uh, duration may be six up to eight hour, uh, except in some preparation, it may be up to 12 or more hours, but this is not the rule. Intermediate acting, NPH, isofan, or linked insulin. Two examples for intermediate acting. Uh, these two examples may have a source from all types, wizard, human, porcine, bovine, like this. Almost always, the onset is more or less uh, slightly longer than the short, uh, fast acting. It may take one up to two hours. Onset, the week may be after six hours or more. The duration here may be uh, 18 hours up to 24, maximum 24 hours. This is an intermediate action. The long acting preparation may include PZI, protein zinc insulin, ultra plant insulin. These are two examples. Maybe bovine, I mean, it's a salt. The onset here is delayed, not like fast acting, which may be one half hour, not like intermediate, maybe one up to two hour. But here, the onset may be after four up to six hours four to six hours. The week may be more than 12 hours, maybe 14, 16, up to 20, maybe this is the peak. The duration here, at least 24 hours, maybe 24 hours up to 36, in cases of protein zinc insulin, not less than one day. Ultra length, maybe 20 hours up to also one and a half day, 36 hours. This is some details about soluble or crystalline or regular insulin. PZI, protein zinc insulin, isofen, insulin, NPH. We have also known as insulin zinc suspensions. Regarding the character for soluble, regular, this is the insulin for emergency. Why to use an emergency this time? Soluble, regular, crystalline insulin. Why? It's a drug of choice in emergency. Why? Rapid onset. Rapid onset. So. Almost always, this is our choice in case of emergency, soluble or regular. But because it can act for short duration, so in combination with soluble, I can use intermediate or long acting preparation. This soluble insulin is clear aqueous solution, rapid onset but short duration. We may have two forms for soluble insulin acidic. And this may cause some dis, uh, discomfort at site of injection and neutral. These are two forms of cerebral insulin. The uh, uh, potency or the preparation dosage form, these different dosage forms may in the form of 20. Uh, 40 or 80 units per ml. We may have a bottle containing 20, 40, or 80 units per ml. Almost always, we inject the type of parental insulin subcutaneously 30, 30 minutes before meal. So, when the patient is injected or will be injected with this insulin, the meal must be ready to be taken within 30 minutes. Otherwise, what can occur if the patient omit this uh, meal within 30 minutes? What can occur? Uh, 
hypoglycemia. Yes, hypoglycemia may occur if the patient is neglected this coordination, uh, this arrangement of taking the diet at the same time or within 30 minutes of the subcutaneous injection. This soluble or regular opioid insulin uh, may give an intravenous in case of emergency to be more rapidly effective. But this is a portamine zinc insulin, PZI. Why it is known as protamine zinc insulin? It is a combination of insulin and the protamine containing traces of, of zinc. Uh, this insulin preparation hardly soluble, not easily to be soluble. So its absorption is delayed. Why delay? What's the benefit of delay absorption? The benefit related to the duration will be prolonged. Duration will be prolonged. Uh, this protamine zinc insulin I contain excess uh, protamine. So must be given in a separate insulin when used with other types like uh, regular insulin in order to prevent the binding to that. Again, if I will give my patient one dose in the morning containing the short-acting uh, soluble or crystalline insulin, and I will give at the same time long-acting in order to cover the whole day, not to put these two types in one dosage form or in one application. Why? Because this protamine is excess in case of visit eye. This may be conjugated or bound to the soluble or short acting because insulin and allow it to have the late onset, which is not good. So different bottles, different preparation. If I will combine the short acting uh, rapidly acting with this protamine zinc insulin, which is long duration and the delayed onset. This is NEPH or isofan insulin, contain just enough protamine, not much like long duration uh, insulin. Contain just enough protein to bind it to the insulin. Therefore, can be administered with soluble insulin without fear of binding. In this situation of any pH or intermediate, uh, I can mix, but not available, not allowed in PZI, which is long duration and have excess amount of this protein. This is a category known as insulin zinc suspensions. These are forms of insulin in which the duration of action may be modified by altering the particle size of the preparation. I have simulin, ultralin, and lint preparation. Simulin, rapidly acting, short duration. It is amorphous preparation, which has quick onset but short duration. This is simulin. Crystalline preparation, ultralin, has a very slow onset and uh, prolonged duration of action. Marked the volume. This is ultra length. A mixture of three parts amorphous, which is similar, and seven parts crystalline uh, insulin zinc suspension length, uh, uh, which has intermediate uh, onset and the duration of action. I have different 
uh, insulin zinc suspensions can be used according to the clinical So this is a brief discussion for our insulin. We must know very well the different preparations. We must know well the indications when I have to use insulin and what about the uh, route of administration. It is almost always subcutaneous and I may resort or I may have to use is intravenous in case of emergency. What about the complication? I have many complications, but the one which is most serious is hypoglycemia, liable to occur if my patient neglect eating or taking the meal at the same time of administering insulin. Thank you for all of you.